In essence, what this paper has shown is that it's now possible by using multi-photon excitation to close off blood vessels one at a time. In order to achieve multi-photon excitation, we use a femtosecond laser. That's a laser that produces a pulse one quadrillionth of a second in length, a millionth of a billionth of a second. And on this aspect, the detection, many groups is working on this, but what uh, different is uh, for us is we made the system very fast, uh, so that we can imagine at uh, like a video rate in real time of uh, in real patient, and that's the key to enable like a clinical application. Uh, the second difference is like we are the first one actually to uh, using the multi-photon process for therapeutic applications, which is. Uh, highly uh, spatially uh, localized and spatially selective, and that brings the precision uh, for personalized uh, treatment. Okay, so here in this video, we're imaging some blood vessels. In the center of the blood vessel, we're aiming the laser beam. We're generating a localized area of heat that will then spread to the wall of the blood vessel, causing it to collapse you'll see that the blood vessels nearby are completely unaffected. So using a multi-photon approach, we can achieve highly specific and highly selective closure of a single vessel. We utilize the non-linear process of two-photon like, absorption, which has the um, advantage of uh, restricting the absorption at the focal point only. If you align the focal point with the microstructure, you can treat this microstructure like very precisely without generating any adverse effect to the surrounding tissues. In the case of this publication, we've actually used it to close off blood vessels one at a time. But I can see that there are a range of different structures and targets within the body that this would be very applicable to, not only to blood vessels, but any other type of cell or tissue structure.